Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in the scene editor for Mountain Blade Banner Lord. Today we are going to have a look at the spawn points and in the next video I will show you how you test your map in custom battle. Since last time I have been changing this map a little, I've been uh, adding some new outer mesh stuff like this landscape uh, F and also some rocks and uh, some more trees and I've actually also made a manual uh, nav mesh that uh, fits with the new borders I also created. So let's just jump right into it. When you create spawn points it's entities. Let's start with the SP dual. So you look for the SP dual set and you can place this wherever you want in your map. It's uh, where the two NPCs or rather the player and uh, the enemy will spawn and have a duel. So this happens if you um, play custom battles only with uh, one person on each side. It's just the the Lord and uh, the player fighting each other and I also think it's possible in the normal campaign to challenge a person to a duel and um, this is probably also where they will spawn. Now you could just uh, place the arrows like here and um, make sure it's a, a little above the ground and uh, perhaps that would be good enough but uh, I feel they are a little too close to each other so what you do is you have to hold down shift and now we only select one of them and we just drag it uh, slightly further back now there's a few seconds before they actually get uh, right at each other's uh, throats all right let's try and add the SP battle set now these spawn points are actually uh, enough to test a map if you're at it. So you can see there are uh, eight arrows. So those uh, further behind are actually the reinforcements. Let's place it. So one side is the defenders and the other side is uh, attackers. Yes, so this is the attackers. If you hold down shift like before you can select uh, one of them or you can uh, select them all. You don't want them to be too close to each other so I think we should have the attackers come from here. So we move it back here. Now one thing you should keep in mind when you actually place these is how close are they to the border and perhaps we want to uh, check the navigation mess uh, as well but uh, I know it fits well here so I don't have to look at it so let's try something like this maybe a little further back something like that and uh, we just want it to be right above the ground all right now I've seen in many banner lord uh, maps that these two arrows are right next to uh, each other uh, or rather the normal one is right uh, in front of the reinforcement. So now we just have to figure out how we want to place these. I think we should move this one over here. Something like that. And we have the horse arches. I think we should move the horse arches over here. Something like that. And we have the cavalry. I think we should have it over there. And uh, you can see when you mouse over one of them, it's uh, still in the prefab uh, connected to each other. So uh, whenever you need a prefab like this you can just hold down shift and it will select one of them instead of uh, all of them at once. I think we should move the arches a little. So 
something like that and um, if you want you could just have all the reinforcements uh, line up uh, right here, uh, at the back uh, it doesn't really matter it uh, all depends what you want all right so let's try and move all these and uh, where should they start? Perhaps down here. Seems like a good area to start. Something like this. So this will be the defenders. And you can have it uh, just like this if you want. Uh, the problem is that it's uh, they're all spawning pretty much uh, next to each other. So let's do something like that. Have the reinforcements a little further back, something like that, and we move the cavalry over here. Let's check. Yeah, seems not too far from the ground, so that's probably nice enough. And we have the horse arches. Move them over here, and um, you can place them just as you want. Perhaps you have a different type of map where you want the cavalry to be in front. Yeah, doesn't really matter. It's all up to you what you want. Alright, so that should be enough. Now we're gonna do a quick saving here and I will show you two minor things you might want to add to your map. I don't think it's needed, but uh, I always do it uh, because I've seen it is uh, in other Bannerlord uh, maps. So I think we have to go to the scene options. So we go to levels and we add a level and I just call it level one. That's how they name it in the normal Bannerlord maps. I'm not sure if it has to be that name. There are some other names, of course, but uh, I've only seen them use level 1, 2 and 3. And uh, Siege Maps, uh, of course, uh, some more. Alright, so that's one of the things. The other thing is two entities called PRT, Border Probe. Not sure if this is needed. So, we have to place two of these and we have to place it at the what should we call it? I would call this the the right corner the the beginning corner so just place it like here and you have to select it and you want it to be beneath everything in your terrain something like that I think that's good enough All right now we go to the opposite corner of the map and it has to be in the air. So something like this. And you want it to be above even the tallest trees. Doesn't have, really matter how tall up in the air it is. But something like that. I'm not 100% sure what it does, but I have seen that the PRT file is related to this pre-computed uh, radiance transfer so it has to do with uh, custom light settings and uh, so forth I think so I don't think you have to do that uh, to make it uh, work but I like to do it when you have created your arrows you can also create other spawn paths so you create a path like this and it has to be named like this I think and uh, now this will also work the third point uh, from either end is where the units will spawn or at least that's how I have observed it so I'm not sure if it's actually true but it seems to be like that so where the path uh, begins would be defenders and uh, where it ends is the attackers and you can see that the third uh, last point here is uh, pretty close to our arrows and it's uh, the opposite of what the arrows would say 
and then that is on purpose. So we've created one path. Let's try and create another one. Just like that. And you can, of course, uh, create uh, three or four if you want to. I usually create around two or three. That's just my preference. So we are going to cross the other path here just to have the same sort of map, but uh, it will feel different because you come from a, a different angle. So I think we should have the units spawn around here. So we just want to add two more points, just like that. Uh, I think that's a pretty good uh, place to spawn, I would say. But uh, we will see. All right, so let's uh, save. Now let's say you want to take a screenshot of your map and you don't want these uh, lines to appear, you can just hit H and all the helpers will disappear. And uh, of course you can always turn off uh, borders. So now we can get a, a better look of our map. Looks pretty cool, I would say. All right, but we still have to do one more thing. So we add borders back and we have to add flee lines. And it is of course where the enemy will flee to when they lose uh, morale. And you can see there are different ones. Uh, for a battle terrain like this, you should just use the flee line and it will uh, function for both sides. And you have of course uh, also different ones and they are used in sieges, as you can imagine. So the defenders would uh, flee towards the keep and uh, if the attackers lose morale, they would flee to their siege camp or something like that. All right, so we just remember to hit H again so you can see it. Let's try and uh, add this one. It's important that it is within the playable area and not uh, outside um, so let's place them right here and uh, it's on purpose that one of these boxes are close to a corner you will see why that's uh, relevant uh, in a moment so right now I will just place a few more of these perhaps you don't want the enemy to flee in all directions of your map so for my map there's a, a river here and I don't want the enemy to flee directly towards the river because I think that's uh, a little weird. As you can see I'm placing them right where the border uh, begins and the border marks of course uh, the playable area so if the player cross this uh, boundary they will have 10 seconds to get back to the playable area um, when you play the map you can of course not see these uh, flea lines so it's just uh, where the AI will write towards when they uh, begin to flee so now you have placed all your flea lines and you could just have it like this but uh, I would recommend something else. I mean, right now, let's say we have a, a big battle here and uh, this side decides to flee. They would uh, probably run towards this very small area or this one, uh, doesn't really matter. But uh, the AI would look a bit unnatural uh, all riding towards that point. So what you want to do is uh, you want to make it larger so it's not a very small area but a, a, a larger one and they would uh, flee towards uh, any point between these boxes so just hold down shift like before you select one box and you just uh, move it uh, along the border now you don't have to move it up and down it will automatically uh, fit with the terrain so you can see it's actually not uh, directly at the same height now 
and you could of course uh, stretch it uh, stretch it even more so we will just do this for uh, some of the flea lines all right so we have uh, our flea lines placed and uh, the map should be ready to play right now of course this is just uh, the normal battle terrain so if you are making a village or a castle or a town it will be different and if it's a, a multiplayer map it will also be different of course so you will have to use the MP spawn points I think there are some different ones yeah so you can see uh, it's uh, different for multiplayer um, so that's worth keeping in mind I haven't uh, made any maps for multiplayer yet of course so uh, I can't really uh, tell you uh, a lot about it but I will probably cover it uh, in a video at some point so in the next video I will try to test this map out with you guys and uh, hopefully it will work so thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video Bye.